Hello and welcome puzzlers! How are you doing? My name is Rick and I absolutely love jigsaw puzzles. I've got a puzzle that may interest you out there who want a big challenge but also want the fun of puzzles and this one is the Musical Notes by Theatnik. And look at how crazy this is. In this video, I'm not only completing or solving the entire puzzle, but I'm also giving you tons of very useful tips that you can use to approach puzzles that are extremely challenging. You know, the puzzles you don't even know where to start, apart from the, uh, the edges or the borders. And some of the tips have never been mentioned on YouTube before, so this video is definitely going to be very useful to you. Let's get cracking! Okie dokie, for a puzzle as intricate as this one, I highly recommend that you sort the pieces into different trays, all facing up and preferably following the lines, because this one is a musical note, so it's going to give us a lot of information of if the pieces are going to be horizontal or if they're going to be vertical. Now check out this piece, it looks like a hangman, doesn't it? At this stage, I don't know if it is going to be upside down or not. This one is obviously horizontal and this one reminds me of the soldiers in Alice in Wonderland. I don't know why. This, my friends, is one of the biggest dramas in this uh, jigsaw puzzle because you don't know if they're going to be facing left or right, which can make things a little bit complicated. All right, so all the sorting has been done. It took me about an hour and a half roughly to place them on trays like this. And this is what I got so far. And to my surprise, even though this is a very traditional puzzle, I actually ended up with about eight different uh, shapes, which is very good. Alright, so for this puzzle, I've also gone the extra mile and within each of the trays, I've also separate what was horizontal and what was vertical, like this example here. So I know for sure now which ones are the bottom and top of the frame and the, and the ones that are going to go left and right. So as usual, let me start with the frame, which is not going to be easy. And as I suspected, it's all going to be a process of investigation. Each one of those little tiny dots can give us a clue of where the pieces are going to go. And trust me, I guess the biggest challenge for this puzzle is to find those small symbols because at some stage your vision is going to start getting blurred and you're going to forget what you're actually looking for. And we're going to talk more about how to solve this in a minute. And another thing we're going to talk about in just a minute is the recurrence of the symbols. And this is going to be a key element to solving this puzzle. All right, so now that I'm getting a little bit more acquainted with the symbols and the shapes and the direction of the pieces, it looks like things are going to flow easily, for the frame at least. All right, so now that the frame is completed, as you can see here, things are going to get a lot more complicated. But let me show you what I've done to make my life a little bit easier. What I highly recommend you do is take a picture of the box and print it out so you can make as many notes as you like. The next step is to isolate the less recurring symbols in this picture. And I came across this double line right in the middle. So that's the one I'm going to go for first. And I don't know guys, but a lot of the puzzles that I've solved before, they all sort of try to give you a clue of where the center of the puzzle is. I don't know if you noticed that as well, or if it is just me. Please let me know in the comments. Okie dokie, and whilst I was, uh, you know, focusing on that double line in the middle, I also noticed some bigger symbols that also only occur in certain parts of the puzzle. So I went for it. All right, next, I came across lots of crests, P, P, P's, tens, and TRs. Forgive me, I have no understanding of musical notes. So I've just isolated them as well. And once I had them all isolated, I just try to put the groups together and then try to place them into the main frame. And funny enough, even though I knew exactly where the pieces were going to go, placing them into the puzzle was kind of very tricky because, as I said, at some stage, your vision starts getting quite blurred by all the whiteness and all the symbols 
that seemed to be pretty much the same unless you looked really closely. And that is when I came up with the idea of creating cutout papers like this one here, just as if they were magnifying glasses, but instead of magnifying, they literally just isolate the pieces and the parts that I wanted to focus on. And that is something that I highly recommend you try. Get a piece of paper, cut a hole in the middle and use it on the picture so that you can literally isolate the pieces that you're working on without any of the surrounding distractions. And after I ran out of less recurring symbols to uh, guide me through this puzzle, it became even more difficult because a lot of the symbols were exactly the same. There were about 20 different symbols, but they were just about everywhere. So in this part, it became a real investigation, but I got there at the end and here's the final piece. Ta -da! Weeks later, <laughs> literally it took me weeks to complete this puzzle, but it was well worth it. I really enjoyed it. All right. And that is our final product. Musical Notes by Pietnik. All right, guys, so that was the Musical Notes by Pietnik. Not the easiest jigsaw puzzle in the world, but it was super fun to complete. It was challenging. It is very intricate. It is beautiful to look at, even though I know nothing about Musical Notes. I really enjoyed it and I highly recommend it. I took, I'm not gonna lie, I took several weeks to complete it but I could only solve it a couple of hours a week. So that's why it took me so long to finish it. But at times I felt like my eyes were gonna fall off because there were so many symbols. So I highly recommend you use the paper cut. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check the playlist right here on the screen and I will see you next time. Bye.